Hello everyone and welcome back to Doom. This is the secret level called Military Base. Oh god, help. Just use all your rockets if you have to. Not this weapon, not this weapon! This weapon. We've got quite a lot with those rockets, to be fair. Like, everything's dropping shotguns, so I'd be, probably be remiss if I didn't keep using my shotgun. Uh, I'm slightly remiss picking them up when I don't need to, but I think at this stage min-maxing is not that hugely worthwhile. Hello! I mean, if every one of those drops a shotgun with more than one shell in it, then, you know, I'm, I'm still quids in because they take only one shell to kill, so... There's a great economy back on these shotgun troopers here. See, that's the sort of thing where if you've ever played computer games before, you don't really want to do it. Now, this is the sort of place where the, I guess you call it exposition, of the game comes through, but they don't really expose it. <laughs> they don't expose themselves properly is what I'm saying here. Because, obviously, there's a summoning circle here. And obviously it works. And I'll show you some inside baseball in a second. Uh, but there is nothing in the game that really says, somebody made this. You know, one of your colleagues made this. Well, like one of your... Not really a colleague, because you're a, you're a marine on this base, but the base is a scientific base. This is why you want to leave a few shotguns lying around, by the way. Um, I think it was a scientist in Doom 3 that actually s did the summoning. Ah, well, I don't want to spoil it, but obviously it wasn't the marines that did it. Now, you see that up there? You're not supposed to notice that. That is a small... It's a small gap, and in on the map it doesn't show up. Uh, and what it's doing is it's ensuring that that sector there is connected to a hidden one, uh, for purposes of sound. It has zero light, and it's just a small hole in the top corner, but it's probably as small as it can actually be uh, in, in the circumstances. And the way it works is that you are forced to make noise up here because of all the bangs. I think even punching something wakes things up. Three shots to get rid of those is just outrageous. And then that wakes up the enemies in that other chamber. And the other chamber is there so that you... When you step on the the, the star, the summoning pentagram, that's what. It opens doors that allow the enemies that are now awake to step onto a teleporter. And then it has the effect of summoning a whole bunch of enemies through the teleporter, right? Please. A shorter lift in future, if you don't mind. A little bit of inside baseball for you. Uh, we saw a similar thing, I think, in Hexen, but... No, I mentioned a similar thing in Hexen, because when I was in Hexen, I was talking about the scripting engine, which meant you don't have to do things like that anymore anyway, because when you cross a line in Hexen, and boy, can you cross the line in Hexen, um, you end up... just... running a script. Spawns a bunch of stuff anyway. I love how your character gets really, really ferocious when he's firing a lot. It's like, rah, I will kill these things. Basically, if you hold the fire button down for a while, I think he just starts pulling that face. It's really cool. You haven't been here yet. Nothing here. So if you've ever played a computer game before, you will probably expect a lot of these times that we've had a trap. Um, in fact, in Hexen, I remember specifically talking about monster closets, which is a... Um, a phrase I got off of Rorax. We want to go... This way? A phrase I got off of Rorax um, watching the Heretic series, which also uses monster closet. So I'm thinking, you know, Hexen... Oh, I just watched that happen as well. Hexen doesn't need monster closets. It has scripts. It can cause these things to happen without, you know, too much difficulty. And yet it uses them, which is strange. Four shells in a... Four shells in a shotgun. Kind of hoping that we could use that to kill the things that are up here. 
And I kind of got to the stage where I can't avoid accidentally killing things. I'm going to uh, go down here, because if they're smart, no, they can't open that door. So. That's okay. I think they can't open that door. Honestly, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, in Hex and I, I mentioned that in Doom you had to do things like that, and it happened several times, so I'll try and point it out. It's not that interesting, but it's something to say. So we are up here now, and if you've ever played computer games before, as I've said, you would probably not be too surprised by the traps that we triggered, but you might be surprised by the ones that we didn't trigger. I've myself been expecting a couple of traps. In Doom, they didn't really put traps in secret rooms. Secret areas, I suppose, secret sectors. Service. Uh, they were slightly kinder than that to our first time computer gamers. I mean, now that I can look down these stairs and everything is all, you know, fluid and move around y, it's not quite so horrendously terrifying, but back in the day. This is a secret? I thought it was just a door. Alright, so this is a jumping puzzle, which we love from every single game. Boop. Uh, I'm already running, so I should not press shift. What you can do is... Oh, apparently you can't. Okay. So I'm say what you can do is you can press shift to stop running when you land on the thing. And this arrests your momentum, but it doesn't actually work. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> do I even want this stuff? How many rockets do I have? I've got 16 out of 100. I kind of want to get up there. Yes, thank you for... Thank you for the kind words, but... There's no way you can run across that gap. Totally can. Now we just have to not miss. <laughs> How long have you been playing games since this was a new game? Since before this was a new game? Why are you bad? I understand your frustrations and concerns at my ability to play both this game and The Binding of Isaac. Oh, what? I was trying to line up for it and fell off. I understand. I, I really, really do. Especially when you're watching someone else <laughs> do a let's play and you're going how have you failed this much and how have you missed this thing and how are you like the number of times you were probably yelling at the screen trying to get me to find the secret in the first level is quite understandable oh fuck it i might even... i'll just no clip it to hell with it right, so we run around here and we beat the crap out of this joker it may or may not be worse than not shooting him to be quite honest oh my god I just realised what's happening. We can't get out of here. We have to... Uh, I think they've all spawned up there as well. Oh, uh, that's upsetting. There's another bit of inside baseball. In the original game, you couldn't look up and down. At all. Not even in the Hexen style where it slid. Where it did vertical shearing, as I called it, in the first episode of Hexen. Now you can. Uh, what have you done? There's no need for it to be that tall, by the way. I think it could just about have got away with being... One, one, uh, Texas width, Texas height, tall. Oh god, I shot that and now it's open. Right, you're dead, good. Now we leg it. Hopefully they have spawned. Nope, they're up here. There's only, ah, uh, they spawned over there or they were over there, but there's a bridge now. Uh, I'm going to give this another couple of goes and then we'll see. I might, I might cut this, but I'm going to keep talking. So, please don't be frustrated. Uh, I really want those rockets because it's... I've only got 16. Oh, I've done it! I was this far away from no clipping it and then pretending that I didn't. You know, let's not and say we did. I don't think I've got all the secrets. I didn't. Honestly, I don't know where they all are in that um, thing. I'm pretty sure I know where they all are everywhere, everywhere else, though. So, I've really got no excuse. In those situations, but here, I mean, in, in that secret level, the first time I played Doom, I didn't even find the secret level, I didn't know about it. But I'm pretty sure I have a wider knowledge of the locations of in game secrets than this. And yet, I'm not finding them. I did a lot better in Hexen. But, you know, I guess it's knowledge that seeps away over time as well. And I'm just let me get off track and pointing out that this is a intentionally fast run through Doom. I want to show people who may not have even played it the 
you know, the very first incarnation of the engine that ended up being the one that powered the majority of Hexen, well, the entirety of Hexen, but I mean, in its majority powered Hexen because Hexen was an extension of this engine. So this engine did not, in the strictest sense, power Hexen. Uh, this became the engine that powered Hexen, but it's very, very similar. You know, we've still got the same, um, same architectural engine. Probably should actually get some HP and then min-max that a little bit more, but I'm not going to. Uh, same architectural engine, you know, the same flat surfaces and stuff. Hexen introduced scripting, Hexen introduced jumping, Hexen introduced looking up and down... Maybe heresy? I don't think, I don't think so, though. Um, but what you're looking at is a very, very early first-person shooter. And if you consider that the first time this would have been played, it would have been played in like 320 by 240 style uh, resolution. Like very low res is what I'm saying. Software mode as well. Don't like that noise. And it became very, very difficult because of course people were playing with it. Keyboard and no mouse. Not even strafing. Strafing was not part of it. Ow. That definitely exploded next to me. So there's a meme from my earlier days. I was still an adult. <laughs> no, no, not, not that old. Uh, from, I think, Half-Life or Half-Life 2 sort of era? Probably... Probably Half-Life 2. Like, it would have been um, sort of rehashed... I mean, it's talked about Half-Life originally, but Half-Life... Half-Life 2 is very, very spiritually similar to Half-Life, so it applies. Anyway, the meme is dumbass, barrels explode. Uh, alluding to the fact that you should either not shoot them, or control dis controlled detonate them. Because uh, if you don't, something else will, and you'll be no doubt stood next to it at the time. I thought you could actually one-shot those if you were close enough, but I guess not. Uh, another instance. Controlled detonation being important. I do remember that there's a part of this game somewhere where you, you spawn surrounded by barrels and you just have to shoot them <laughs> in their way through. Uh, try and take as little damage as you can. So, what are we doing? We are running around trying to find a thing. Trying to get our bearings, figure out where to go. See, many of the tactics in the original Doom was to have enemies that didn't wake up when there was noise. Enemies that stayed hidden around corners and things like that. So that you were... What you can do is you can inundate the player with enemies that, you know, you can beat up fairly happily. But then put uh, either deaf enemies in or a block that prevents you from actually... Like, stop the sound getting through in order to prevent those enemies from following you. So when you walk around a corner feeling all high and mighty because you've destroyed everything, there's actually plenty more stuff about to beat the shit out of you. Pretty, uh, pretty decent tactic. For the time, again, you've got to remember, everything we say here is somewhat tempered by the fact that this is almost literally the very first first person shooter that came out. I say almost literally. There were several beforehand, I do recall. Um, Obviously, id themselves made Wolfenstein 3D, which was, to my surprise, it was very late on in my life that I learned that Wolfenstein 2D was a thing. Yeah, you know, they made... Um, there was a game called Rise of the Triad, sort of in between times, which didn't go to quite the resolution of Doom, I seem to remember. It had a very strange resolution that you couldn't change for some reason? A box of rockets gives you... Oh, I remember this. The almost swastika part. It's not an actual swastika. I should have been checking. But 31 rockets now, so... What do we have? It must be five. Or... Yeah, it must be five in a box. Right, so we want to... We found the exit, but we don't want to go to it yet, because we actually want to go this way. Oops. I can hear the snorting of an imp. Anyway. It pleased me to have played Doom 3. Because you 
we've got an interactive, non-combative, story-based introduction to the game. Within the engine, it was interactive, it was, you know, introduced to your characters. The game had NPCs, like, uh, non-enemy NPCs. <laughs> Is that another one? No. Okay. I think that's probably the way out. Now we leg it down here and hope for the best. Because there's actually a soul sphere up there and plenty of HP, so we are at 200% health. Which is great. Press this. And jump on it. We have slow lifts and we have fast lifts. We have slow doors and we have... Oh my god, that actually made me jump because I forgot it was going to happen. Uh, we have slow lifts, we have fast lifts, we have slow doors, we have fast doors. Okay, that does that, fair enough. That's it. In Hexen, we had, you know, you could set the speed of the lift, you could choose when it activated and all this crap. Uh, in Doom, we have slow lifts and fast lifts, we have slow doors and fast doors. We have lines you walk over and lines you press spacebar against. And that's it. Ta-da! Kills. 66 percent and it's another secret. I don't know where they all are, I honestly don't. And it's possible that they're not registering. Now this is the demo level. But you would have seen in the original game being played by the computer. It would be the, the recorded uh, sort of introduction. Remember it was a very arcadey game back then. So uh, it's not hugely surprising that the 61 now. I thought I had way, way less than that. It's not too surprising to find um, that early games would have just sort of a, a demonstration of the game itself playing when you loaded it, even though you had you know, already bought it. This being said, that probably helps for, um, you know, when you're demoing them in shots, you would want to leave it on the title screen and then it would show you what the game looked like to play without somebody actually having to be playing it. Because these days if you go into shop there's always someone playing it. Or it's just left on pause or something. The uh get the impression that it ain't what it used to be, the old games industry. Because a lot of I got this off Steam, right? I got New Doom off Steam. I couldn't tell you the last time I went into a shop and actually intentionally purchased a game. Dumbass barrels explode, shoot the barrel. Hello? What do you think you're doing? Don't appreciate that sort of treatment. Don't you know who I am? I am the person who's going to clean your type from the face of this mask. Oh no, there are four. I must have picked up two last time and got confused. But then I would still need nine. Maybe I misread the number I had. Inconceivable. So we start to add elements of other wilderness as we go through this game and it's much clearer descent into madness sort of thing going on in Doom 3, which is why I like the game. The artistic style of it, the, the way that they told the story uh, is very doomy, but you know, it's it's very implicit. I think that's what I'm trying to get across here. In um, in this Doom, there is n it's very difficult to interpret what's happening as the things that you know to be happening because you've seen Doom 3 happen, but Basically what's happened is someone's opened the Hellmouth and these things have taken over. We're on Mars, by the way. Well, we're on Phobos. Phobos? Different, um, I think different episodes take place on different... Didn't mean to get stuck there. Different episodes take place on different moons of Mars. That demon is eating somebody. Could have been firing back and done my job for me, but obviously chose not to. This is the point at which you assume that bad things are going to start coming for you, and you just run the fuck away, get your rocket launcher out, and do that. That was a bad shot. That was a good shot by it, it was a bad dodge by me. Probably could have seen it coming. Okay, good. Honestly, I, I don't remember. Um, there's Phobos, there's Deimos, and that's as far as I remember the game taking place in. So it could be just those two moons. Also, those are the only two moons of Mars I can remember, and it's possible Mars only has two moons. So you can probably tell I'm not an astronomer. 
Ooh, that's what we're trying to say. So I remember that being a thing. <laughs> we want to use this um, while it still has to charge, because it will protect us from this radiation. Not that radiation, but that's an explosion. Specifically this radiation. How do you think we get those, though? Oh, these are going to go up. Yeah. So we need more bullets, so it's a good thing this is here. And we have to wait. See, in Hexen, you could probably bring that down again. By pulling the switch again, but um, Doom does not have such a powerful engine as to be allowed... You know, they're actually doing a lot with very little, if you consider the computing power that was available in the uh, mid to early 90s. So, you yeah, can't really be too salty with them. I apologise for that noise, by the way. I know it's extremely loud. Partial invisibility. And that's also really annoying, but at least they chose... Uh, didn't expect that. At least they chose an okay, you know, person to do it. Right, this is now open, but we've lost our protection, so we have to run across that guy. I mean, I've heard worse voice actors for things in computer games, so I guess I'll let them off. I assume it's uh, part of Zandronum that's doing it, because I'd be surprised if they changed the original Doom at all to add these noises in. I mean, it's not the original uh, secret discovery sound, that's for sure. And I'm not worried about min-maxing these either, to be honest. Okay, that opens the door that it was on. It's a very strange mechanic. But okay. Oh, I missed. Scratch my nose. You can't scratch your nose during an uh, invasion of the hordes of hell on the, the Mars moon. Martian moon of... So, boss, you just have to, you know, if you're going through hell, keep going, sort of thing. This is where we want to be. Killed these already, but that one was hiding. So there's that trick again. No, didn't, didn't know it was there. Kind of knew it was there. Still can pick the armor up, even though we don't need it. That's a bit of a shame, actually, because I'd like to sort of be able to keep it until we lose a bit and then pick it up again. Armor doesn't last forever. I can hear you. Holy mother of God. It's good thing we have stereo, actually. I don't know if the original game was in stereo, to be honest. I think around here there's, um... Light amplification goggles. It's basically the torch from Hexen. It's that slightly more, uh... Sci-fi, because it gives you full visibility of light rather than a flickering torch effect. Oh, I guess Hexen and therefore Heretic gave us the first incarnation of inventory. So uh, Wolf 3D gave us first person perspective, which was itself outrageous. Quite it. Then Heretic used the same engine but added um, this. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't have to step on that. Okay. Maybe the. I think they used to be in here, but uh, we're on a harder difficulty level, so you don't get them. Heretic added the, the inventory system, which was. Highly cumbersome, but did allow you to carry around things like the uh, the torch and stuff. I don't think I did very well on this. Uh, this that's forty four percent secret. There's a lot more than even I know about. It's not like I'm a grandmaster of um, doom or anything, but you know what? I think we're going to uh, leave it there. We'll come back and start this particular uh, level in the next episode. So thank you for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot. I certainly didn't because I told you the things that I think that you would have learned in the first place. So how would I have learned anything? I did learn that I don't know as many secrets in this game as I thought I did. So, you know, maybe tone down the hubris a little bit. I can do that. Uh, and yeah, I'm pretty happy that this is going so fast and I think that pretty soon we will be in a good position to start doing the very newest Doom. So thank you for watching this episode. I hope you will join me in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like if you like to leave feedback in the comments or on Twitter or chat to me on Discord or uh, 